Hey guys, it's Ivory. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing a really exciting video because I'm including my dogs. I've been wanting to include them in a video for a while now, but I didn't know what I wanted to do with them just yet. A lot of people do the dog picks my makeup challenge. It's so overdone that I was like, I don't, I don't think I want to go that route. So I thought maybe instead what I would do is take the colors of my dogs and incorporate it into an eye look. I have seen this idea, but it looked really literal like people literally drew like paw prints or like they used face paint to look like a dog like for Halloween so I haven't seen too many people do this video which I'm happy about because I do want to keep it kind of fresh and unique here I do have two dogs both of them are rescues I am a big believer and advocator of adopt don't shop you're giving a home to a dog that really wants to be a part of your family they are so much cheaper to get versus from a breeder or like a big corporation such as Petco PetSmart that type of thing and in many cases cases you save a life and you give a dog a second chance whether or not they had a home and then they decided that they were too hard to train or their current dog had unexpected puppies and those dogs don't have homes so you are saving a life and preventing them from getting euthanized and also preventing them from growing up and having their life be in a shelter like that's no way to live other than my husband i would say my dogs are the most important things in my life i have an idea of what look i want to do but before we do i think i should introduce you to the babies first so this is willow willow is three years old i got her when she was about eight weeks old she was like this six pound baby she is a lab mix we're not really sure mixed with what but my dog trainer seems to think that she's mixed with italian greyhound because you know how italian greyhounds have like a really large barreled chest and then they concave at the end her body looks exactly like that she is a mini me like she doesn't really want to be alone in the house but she also doesn't want to interact with you she just likes when you're around and that's definitely how i am with people she's kind of weird about personal space she doesn't like when people get super close and if she does it's always on her terms and i'm i'm the same way so she is a clone of me i grew up sort of around dogs but not really so i really consider willow to be my first dog i would definitely say that i have a a deeper love with her than i do my other dog just because when i look at willow i think about like my life and my milestones she was there when I was engaged, when we moved to a house, when me and my husband first moved in together, when we got married, when I got my first job. So she's been with me through so many milestones. So when I see her, I think about where my life has come and how she's been with me through everything. So we're just really happy that she's a part of that because she's so awesome. Oh, and my favorite thing about her physically is her eyes. I don't know if you can see, but she has like these really brown almost like caramel toffee colored eyes it's the first thing people notice when people look at her they're like wow she has like really pretty eyes and that's definitely my favorite part about her too so yeah this is willow good girl you can get off now so we were so happy with willow we decided to get her a buddy although i really feel like millie is more so for us than for willow <laughs> because of how much time she spends with us so this is millie millie is almost one yeah you are your birthday this next month we also got her when she was about eight or nine weeks old i don't really know what she is because they said that she was a german shepherd mix but she really looks like a lab mix with something you never really know with shelters but i really don't care a lot of people prefer willow over millie just because her personality is a lot calmer but i actually prefer millie's personality over willow's just because millie reminds me of my husband like she is very needy very vocal when she needs attention she is the best cuddler best person to take a nap with unlike willow willow's kind of just she keeps to herself just like me and i forgot to say this too both my dogs have this if you look right here both they have a white patch right here on their chest 
Mwah. Good girl. Millie's is much longer and it's way more prominent than Willow's, but they both do have that little white patch, which I think is just adorable. So I'm hoping to incorporate that somehow into the look. And yeah, so this is Millie. Moving on to the eyes, I did go ahead and do one eye off of camera just because I wanted this look to be predominantly black because my dogs are predominantly black and having a really black look can get messy really fast. Thank goodness I practiced because the first attempt it looked like a literal butthole like I went upstairs I looked at my own butthole and I was like wow the resemblance is uncanny so I wiped that away and redid it and this looks less buttholey let's move on <laughs> I'm gonna first start off by priming my eyelid I'm going in with the fit me concealer in the shade light and I'm gonna blend that with a morphe m173 brush and then right after, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm gonna add a little bit right on top because if I don't add an actual eye primer, the shadows from the palette that I'm using just don't blend the same way. But I don't always do this step. Sometimes I just do concealer. For the eyes, I'm going in with the Morphe X James Charles Palette. Do people say Morphe X James Charles or Morphe Times James Charles? I graduated with a bachelor's in mathematics, so I see an X, I say Times. But I saw on Reddit, someone was like I hate when beauty channels say times like it's X and I'm like oh so I don't know which one it is I'm just gonna mix it up one video I'm gonna call it X another one I'm gonna call it times you don't know what I'm gonna say free range pony starting off with a small fluffy brush this is the number nine brush from the BH cosmetics marble luxe set I'm first going in with the shade code James I feel like this shade is closest to Willow's eyes and I'm gonna apply that to the socket of my eyes and then once I have most of the color down in the crease I'm gonna move up and kind of blend it outward so that there's a gradient so I wanted to talk a little bit about my dogs because I love talking about my dogs like with makeup it's fun to talk about but a quick way into my heart is talking about dogs and whenever I go to people's houses and they have dogs <laughs> I always spend more time with the dog because I just want to be around it and I think it needs love. So when I first got Willow as a puppy, we went to the shelter and we looked at all the dogs and I was still working at the nail salon at the time. So I had just left the nail salon and I reeked of like acetone and nail polish. And when we got there, none of the dogs wanted to be around me. Like I would put my hand out and none of them would want to kiss me. Like they'd smell it and they'd be like, no, and they repel. When we saw Willow, she was sitting so proper, like, please pick me, like, I'm so pretty. And we, we opened up the cage, and she was so excited, and we held her, she was adorable. And she was the only dog that kissed me. I immediately really liked her. We adopted her right on the spot, and the first couple months that we got her was an absolute freaking nightmare. We both have not trained dogs in our lives. We've had dogs sort of in our life, but we but we were kids, so we never had to train them ourselves. So we didn't know how to crate train her. Potty training her was a mess. She peed everywhere she had a lot of anxiety issues so when we put her in the crate she would cry endlessly for such a long time it was really hard and we were thinking maybe we made a mistake getting a dog but then i enrolled her in puppy classes and i was really consistent with it i still to this day take her to dog classes just because she loves going to school she loves learning she's a lab you know like they are worker dogs they they love stimulation so i really just do it for her and it also just kind of makes sure that it reaffirms all of the obedience that we have learned throughout the years. Next off with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. This is in Black is Black. I'm going in with an e.l.f. blending eye brush and I'm gonna dip into it and I'm gonna apply this as the base of the black. Just because black shadow can be a little bit patchy, so this just kind of saves a little bit of time. And then after I add the gel liner down, I'm not done yet, but after I will add the black from the shadow, which is called Spooky. So over two years later, we're really happy with the way we raised Willow. I think we did a really great job. She's awesome. And we think, you know what? She needs a buddy. Like, she needs a friend. So we went to a different animal shelter, and we weren't getting any luck. So we actually went back to the first shelter where we got Willow. And we saw Millie, and she was so cute. So we picked her up, and... We were playing with her and she seemed to have like a really good and calm demeanor. We put her down and we got 
her sister and we played with her just to make sure that w Millie was the one that we wanted and we, we didn't feel the same vibe. We put her down and we decided that we wanted Millie. So we bring her home and Willow is about two and a half at this time and Willow was not happy. She did not take it well. She started growling at her right away. She was never violent towards her but she was very wary of her and didn't really like her, especially the attention that she was getting. She was extremely jealous. I remember Millie fell asleep on her bed. Willow saw that she was on her bed and did like the tablecloth trick, like the magician, and she took her paws and she wiped the bed from underneath Millie. So like Millie rolled off because she didn't want her to sleep on the bed. She didn't even want to sleep on the bed herself. She just didn't want Millie. To be on the bed. I'm next gonna go in with the Luxie 243 brush and I'm gonna go in with 10% off as well as no beans and I'm gonna use that to blend out the black with this orange and I don't know if it was because me and Steve were pros at training dogs already or if Millie was just a lot easier than Willow but she has been such a joy to train everything that she has learned she picked up so much faster than Willow. Easiest dog to train she is very responsive, very motivated. So we got really lucky with that. With the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Neutrals Palette, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown right here. It is a shimmer. And I'm gonna apply a little bit on my lid because I didn't want it to be totally matte. I wanted a little bit of life. I don't want it to be too op opaque. I just want it to be like an eyeshadow topper. All right, and then going in with the gel liner one more time, I'm going to add a wing. This part really isn't necessary because this look is already super black, but I already experimented on one side and I didn't feel like wiping it off. So we have to match the other side. And then with a Morphe M431 brush, I'm going in with this frosty white shade. I'm gonna apply that to the brow bone. Like I said, both my dogs have that white patch on their chest, so I just wanted to incorporate that a little bit. All right, and now for the most satisfying part. Okay. It looks a little scary because it's so bold. I'm hoping once I apply the rest of my face that it's gonna come together. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my face off of camera and then I will be right back for the lower lash line. Okay, so the rest of my face is done. Going in with the IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Eyeliner. I'm just gonna add this into my waterline. I used to put black eyeliner in my eyes all the time and that's it, like that was my whole makeup thing. And it would make my eyes look so small. Next, going in with the e.l.f. Eye Crease Brush. I'm going in with Code James as well as 10% off and I'm gonna start to smoke out my lower lash line and I'm basically just gonna mirror the top of my eyes. Next I'm gonna go in with the brush that I used for the orange shade and I'm not adding any more product this is just what's remaining and I'm gonna smoke out this color. It looks a little too harsh I'm getting a little worried. We have to power through okay we're almost done. <laughs> with a Morphe 410 brush I'm gonna go into the black shade and I'm just gonna tight line my lower lash line. You're not really gonna see this too much because I already added the black eyeliner in my waterline but this is kind of to just drag it down a little Bit. And then lastly with a pencil brush, I'm gonna go in with this frosty white shade again from the BH Cosmetics Ultimate Neutrals palette And I'm gonna add that into my inner corner. Ooh, that's bright And I'm also gonna add that to the tip of my nose as well as the bridge And this is the final look guys. It definitely is very smoky dramatic pretty good representation of my dogs at least the colors of them i have a feeling for the thumbnail it's just gonna be me and millie because willow does not like being on this bench she was very apprehensive about it so i'm not gonna make her stress out anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like this video and feel free to comment down below what other types of videos you'd like to see from me thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one high five Good girl. Bye.